Hi guys, Russ here from Wilson Land and Cattle Company. Today we're going to be fixing a wire. The poor wire on my, on my stock trailer. It's been broke multiple times. We had guard dogs and the guard dogs chewed it off and I have it kind of band-aided it together here. And I got some new type connectors that we're going to try. They're, they're from KFCP Tech. They're heat shrink con connectors. We're going to see. Here's the crimpers. They're also made by KFCP Tech. This is what we used to use, is this type. And I've been having a lot of problems with them coming apart. So I wanted to try something a little more substantial. I have something very similar to those um, whenever I'm doing solar wiring and it works, they work really well. So I thought we'd just give them a try and see how they work out. I'm gonna tear the other old part, the old parts apart here. Before we get started, please subscribe, like, comment, share with a friend and hit that notification bell. I have it all taped together here. I needed it to haul some wood and a generator, so I just duct taped it basically so we could get from point A to point B with lights on on the trailer, but it keeps popping apart. I'll show you what I did. It's because I didn't have any uh, butt connectors. We have butt connectors now, so we're good to go. And then one time I forgot to lock the ball on the trailer and it popped off and pinched the wires between the truck and the trailer. So this set of wires has really gone through a lot. There's five wires that need connected here. Spade connectors connect them together. These are the shrink type. See, I just put spades on there. Okay, that looks pretty good on that end. And these here are the connectors that I was having troubles with. See how they just pull right off of there? That's no good. Hey Tessie, what do you got, honey? What do you got? We're Scout. Scout! Hey bud. Look at Tessie wants to play, bud. Yeah, those terminals shouldn't come off that easy. Bring here, bud. What do you got? Huh? What do you got? Give me kisses. Give me kisses. Hey, give me kisses. Good boy. He was sitting in the buggy. It's almost time to go do cows. <clears throat> okay, so we got them apart. <clears throat> what size we need here yeah that ain't gonna work looks like we need the blue ones yep here's the tool we're using thanks Tessie the tool nice in here I don't know if you can see this on camera but there's a little triangle shape <clears throat> that is 
to point it towards the wire. So we're going to put this in here. Pretty darn good. And use the blue. I screwed up and used the yellow one on the first go. That's nice. That's nice, I'll tell you. <clears throat> I use a lot of these connectors every year off those little projects that I build. Make sure my wires all line up fairly decent so I don't have a bunch of puckers. I think they'll be all right. Pretty good guys, I like these. And these are heat shrink, so we're gonna shrink them down. Nice. See where it makes a nice seal on there. There's glue in there to hold them together. Wow, that's that's a heck of a good plus. Well, guys, there you go. That did a nice job. It had glue in there to hold them together. Get a nice watertight seal. Did five connections and oh, maybe ten minutes, I suppose. So they're relatively quick. And I like the heat shrink option that's on them. Seals those wires up. You don't have to worry about corrosion and stuff. And that's <clears throat> a major problem on these horse trailers. <clears throat> or any trailer for that matter. Especially if you run them in the winter time. Because of the salt that's on the road. There it is guys. We got her done. All fixed up and ready to go. I'll put a link in the description below where you can get a set of these. KFCP Tech crimping tools. Pretty darn nice. I like them. Scout. That's enough. Scout doesn't like to play with just one tennis ball. He likes to play with three. Huh, bud? Go get it. Okay, guys. I think that this tool here is something that if you're using the shrink connect or butt connectors or any connect connectors that you use on braided wire, I think this shit here is an option. I give him a thumbs up. Nice set of tools, nice add to the tool collection. It's always nice having the right tools for the right, right job. Um, okay guys, we got that wire fixed on the trailer, about 
10, 15 minutes. Got some nice sunshine here, 50 degrees. So we're gonna keep at the projects here and please subscribe, like, comment, share with a friend, hit that notification bell. We'll see you on the next video. Have a great day.